Welcome. In this video, we will be learning how we can multiply and divide in module arithmetic. Uh, we will be learning how we can multiply and divide in module arithmetic. Okay. The same methods that we used during our addition and subtraction, those three methods can be applied here. But I will actually be using only one method to solve these questions. So how can we add, how can we multiply and divide numbers in given modulus? So let's take it one by one. I have a number of questions. I have a couple of questions on the board. So let's go by it. 5 multiplied by 8 in mod 7. 5 multiplied by 8 in mod 7. I also have 10 multiplied by 12 in mod 5. 90 divided by 10 in mod 4. 7 divided by 2 in mod 5. 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 in mod 7. I also have 4x is equal to 6 in mod 5. So let's take it one after the other and solve the questions. We want to what? Solve all this using the given modulus. For number 1, I have a 5 multiplied by 8 mod 7. 5 multiplied by 8 mod 7. In mod 7, there are 7 numbers, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, the first thing is to perform our normal multiplication. Then, we divide our answer with the fixed modulus. Then, the remainder after that division becomes our result, just as we have known. 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. So, I have 40 into 7. My modulus is 7. So, 7 into 40, what am I going to have? I'm going to have 5, because seven, 5 times 7 is 35, leaving me with what? 5. So my remainder becomes my answer, therefore, I'm going to have a 5 in mod 7. If my number is equal to 7 here, do you understand? My division is equal to 7 or above, I will have to take my answer to this modulus, because I know that in mod 7 there are only 7 numbers, of which I would have 0 to 6. So I'm done with this. 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. 7 into 40, you are going to have 5, remainder 5, and your remainder becomes the answer. It's as simple as that. So let's, go on to, let's move on to number 2. For number 2, I have 10 multiplied by 12 in mod 5. I have 10 multiplied by 12 in mod 5. 10 multiplied by 12 obviously is 120. So I have 120. Then I'll use my modulus. 5 into 12, I'm going to have 2. Then with the remainder of 2. So if the 2 comes here, it becomes 20. So 5 into 20, I'm going to have 4. Remainder 0. So I'm not left with any remainder. So that 0 becomes my answer in mod 5. So I'm going to have 0 in mod 5. So 10 multiplied by 12 in mod 5 is going to give me 0 in mod 5. So let's move on to the third one. I have um, 90 divided by 10 in mod 4. So this is the case of a division. Okay, I have 90 divided by 10 in mod 4. How am I supposed to go about this? A normal division. Let's go by it. So I have um, 10 all over 10. 90 divided by 10. 90 divided by 10. Okay. How many groups of 10 will I have in 90? That's just 9. So I have 9. But do not forget that when I'm dealing with modular arithmetic, my answer can never be equal to the modulus. It has to be less. Okay. So I'll have to take 9 to this modulus. That means I'm going to have 4 into 9. How many groups of 4 will I have in 9? That is just 2 remainder 1. So I'll have 2 remainder 1. Then this remainder becomes my answer. So I'm going to have 1 in mod 4. So that implies that 90 divided by 10 in mod 4 is going to give us 1 in mod 4. So let's go over other examples. I have um, 7 divided by 2 mod 5. I have 7 divided
divided by 2 root mod 5. By visual inspection, if we look at this, 7 divided by 2 is going to give me 3.5. But we need whole numbers in our modulus because in mod 5 we have got 5 numbers which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I cannot have 3.5. So what am I supposed to do? It is very simple. I have um, 7 divided by 2. My numerator is 7, while my denominator is 2. Okay? 7 divided by 2. I'm going to have a remainder. So for me, I'm going to look for a way not to have a remainder. This is very simple. All I will do is add my modulus to the numerator. If I add it to the, to the numerator and I still get an odd number, meaning that it's not going to be divisible by 2, I will still continue to add until I have an even number. Is that taken? But obviously, 5 plus 7 I'm going to have was 12. So that I will have 7 plus my modulus all over 2. So this is going to give me 12 all over 2. Now, 12 divided by 2, I will have 6. I will have 6. That means 6 is my result. But in mod 5, we cannot have 6. So I'm going to have 5 into 6. So that's going to give me 1 remainder 1. Then my remainder becomes the answer. So I'm going to have 1 in mod 5. So this implies that 7 divided by 2 in mod 5 is going to give me 1 in mod 5. So let's look at the next one. I have um, 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 mod 7. I have 3x plus 1 is equal to 4 mod 7. How can I do about this? It is very simple. All I have to do is work with this expression. When I'm done, then I'll take it to my modulus. So let's see. If I want to collect like terms, let's say this is what I have. Is that okay? I have 3x plus 1 is equal to 4. So I'll have to collect like terms. To collect like terms, I will have um, 3x is equal to my 4. Then my plus 1 goes to the other side to become what? Minus 1. Or I can decide to say, I can decide to say, so as to take one away from this place, I want to collect like terms. I want three, I want x to be on the left hand side, and I want my whole numbers to be on the right hand side. So I can actually say subtract one from both sides. I can subtract one from both sides. I'm going to have three x plus one minus one equal to four minus one. If I subtract one from one, I'll be left with three x is equal to four plus one is going to give me what? Three. So I'm going to divide both sides by what? The coefficient of x, which is 3. So I have all over 3, all over 3. 3 will cancel out 3. Then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So my final answer is 1. And in mod 7, we have 1. That implies that 3x plus 1 is equal to 4. In mod 7, is equal to 1 in mod 7. So that is it. So let's take our last example. I have um, 4x is equal to 6 in mod 5. 4x is equal to 6 in mod 5. How can we solve this? It is very simple. All I have to do is work with this. So I have my 4x is equal to 6. I can divide both sides by the coefficient of what's x, which is 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. All over 4, all over 4. 4 is going to cancel out 4. So I have x is equal to... 2 into 6 is going to give me 3. How many groups of 2 would I have in 4? That's 2. So that's 3 all over 2. Now, I'm not done. I need to get a whole number because in mod 5, there are 5 numbers which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what I'm going to do is to add my modulus to this. 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 all over 2. 5 plus 3 is obviously 8. So that's 8 all over 2. 8 divided by 2 is going to give me 4. And my 4 is not up to the modulus, so I'm going to have 4x is equal to 6 in mod 5. It's going to give me what? 4 in mod 5. So it's as simple as that. If you have a number of questions that has to do with multiplication and division 
in modular arithmetic, I believe with these examples, you can actually apply them, you can, you can apply this knowledge to solve those questions. So you're welcome today. Thank you for watching.